Hello Sagittarius, how are you? Welcome to my channel Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Sagittarius, this is your reading. Uh, this is a timeless reading and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa in time is fluid. In this reading, Sagittarius will see uh, what you need to know regarding your love life, your twin flames and soulmate and any other love related messages will also see what is your overall energy what what is it that you need to know regarding your career your money etc okay uh again uh, i'll repeat this is a timeless message and whenever you see this video it will become applicable from there on okay so let's get started there is an extended reading for this one link for the same is in a description box and comment section all right let's get started let's get started all right i'm going to lay down the cards first so as far as your love life overall energy is concerned we have the star card Oh, your twin flame, we have the lovers, your soulmate, we have the nine of cups, interesting. Any other general messages for love life, we have three of pentacles, what a spread. One of the best spread. Other general messages, we have nine of swords, then we have eight of cups. Then we have four of wands. Then we have page of pentacles. Interesting. Wow. As far as the zodiac signs are concerned, you probably might be dealing with uh, Aquarius. You might be dealing with Gemini. Very strong presence of air sign over here. You might be dealing with a Leo. You might be dealing with another Sagittarius. You might be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio. If the sign pops up, all the better. Let's not remain fixed on the signs. There is a lot of twinning energy over here, okay? You might be seeing a lot of 2-2-2, 22-22. Hmm. Uh, when it comes to your love life we have star we have lovers we have nine of cups and three of pentacles star is your overall energy lovers is your twin flame soulmate is nine of cups and any other general messages we have three of pentacles uh, when it comes to your overall love life, I do feel like you're trying, either you're trying to manifest someone specific, Sagittarius, you already have on your mind that this one specific person I want in my life. Or I do feel like at least the criteria, the kind of criteria you want, um, um, the, uh, the criteria related to your per person, what kind of a person you want in your life, that criteria is fixed. I do feel like, and in your criteria, maybe for some of you, you're trying to manifest either a powerful person or you're trying to manifest a celebrity or you're trying to manifest someone with whom you can work and maybe become popular, garner name, fame, reputation. But you do have this fantasy, Sagittarius. I do feel like uh, you are a very good looking person. You're trying to manifest someone who is also very good looking. And you do strongly feel from within that the kind of aura you have and the kind of aura your person should have, that should create some powerful impact on both of yours life. And that probably should help in propelling uh, both of you towards some sort of growth. See, in some or the other way, you're trying to manifest someone powerful. Whether you have seen that person, you have not seen. Whether you have met that person, you have not met. Doesn't matter. But you are trying to manifest someone powerful. Either spiritually powerful person, either financially powerful person, either someone who is very 
um, sitting in a position, in a powerful position, or maybe all three of them. But I do feel like when it comes to having someone in your life, you do have a long term vision, and maybe to fulfill that vision, um, you want someone who is powerful. you want someone who is mentally emotionally physically strong because you are also someone who is like that who doesn't fear challenges okay who doesn't mind doing sacrifices for the sake of relationships for whom relationship should be a priority and i'm not saying that you you uh want them to act unreasonable keeping you as a priority all the time no but what are you you are based on your previous experiences your partners never made you a priority your partners always uh, gave you a secondary treatment your partners always gave you probably a disrespectful treatment your partners never were in alignment with you or your energy you want someone who has been through a life been through a lot in their life and who has grown who has matured up who has grown as a person through experiences okay so you want someone who values life because you have reached that stage you are in a phase of your life where you have overcome tremendous amount of challenges in your life where you you have realized your own potential like damn it i can i can like do lot i mean i can overcome any damn critical problem i can face any challenge i can overcome that i can grow from that and i can build a lot by overcoming challenges by facing problems and uh, eliminating those problems by solving those problems you have seen a lot of negativity also in your life and you are seeing a lot of positivity also in your life and that's what you want you want a person who has seen both sides of the world you don't want a person who has uh, grown up in a very comfort zone you want a person who has seen struggles in their life but re- who is ready to grow or who has grown in his or her life you want a very mature person and you are manifesting such kind of a person sagittarius okay the lovers card it is related to your twin flames when it comes to fire signs i do strongly feel that you are meant uh, i mean this was a message for uh, leo as well and i feel uh, this was a message for uh, aries as well that you are meant to be with your twin flame your twin flame is is going to be a significant part of your life i do feel for many of you you are not you haven't yet met your twin flame you haven't met your twin flame in this lifetime so far you are yet to meet your twin flame in this lifetime so far okay and once you meet your twin flame there is going to be this intense crazy love between both of you like tremendous amount of sex between both of you tremendous and it will be so soul satisfying it is going to be so healing that sex will heal everything that you have faced in your life every wound in your mind your body your soul it is it is going to be not only pleasurable but uh but it will also be healing for some of you this is going to be your future spouse this is the person that you're going to marry your twin flame is the one that you're going to marry okay and divine probably has started uh i mean orchestrating plans to bring you and your twin flame together because the lovers card is also a card of union like divine is bringing two people together if you if you see this card okay divine is bringing two people together 
this is divine bringing two people together who are similar in lot of ways and at the end of the day this person is your twin so this twin will be more or less like you but there is going to be that magnetic pull be ready for becoming be ready to become crazy if you felt that you have had a lot of crazy romantic relationships in the past uh that those relationships were not even a trailer of whatever is coming towards you it is quite possible quite possible that you will have lot of kids with this person i mean the sexual chemistry is so freaking intense the love is so strong so deep that it will be very very difficult for both of you to to stop oneself from one another very difficult to stop conception and i think so divine also wants that i mean say like even if you're using protection that protection might become useless for xyz reason whatever it is this is going to be one of the best relationships that you are yet to see the best and when it comes to your love life for sure you are you are yet to see the best the best is yet to come towards you uh you might have dreams before this person enters in your life or uh, you might have dreams of your past life when you had spent time with this person you might have dreams and especially dreams when if you had exchanged any kind of vows before meeting this person like in the past life that we will be together always so i do feel like there is some sort of contract because of which divine is bringing you together every other lifetime i think so healing and awakening is also a reason why both of you are coming together healing spiritual awakening maybe doing something for the rest of the world like creating some sort of awareness or something because three of pentacles is also indicating that you will very likely work with your uh with your romantic partner like your romantic partner and you both of you will be your bus- both of you will be work partners as well business partners okay and that is one of the reason you know what you have that you, somewhere deep down you know what kind of a person you will be with and that's why you are exactly manifesting uh, a very powerful person in your life because deep down at a subconscious level sagittarius you know that you will be working with your romantic partner that you will be doing something together uh it, either it it can be about creating some awareness spreading awareness uh, uh, motivating other people who need it the most i think so you're going to use lot uh, you're going to use social media in the best possible manner to rise up or this person might be already a social media influencer and you will join this person and that will again shoot up whatever they are already doing as far as your soulmate is concerned sagittarius we have 9 of cups 9 of cups is telling me that it is quite possible that you will have a soulmate a rom- as romantic partner as well Well, when it comes to aries and leo uh, over there their soulmates were not romantic partners their soulmate entered in their life in some other form either as a family member or either as a uh, a, a very good friend when it comes to you i very uh, i mean very clearly i do see that your soulmate will either they have 
already met you in the past might pop up all over again this might be a different soulmate uh, but i do feel like you will also meet your soulmate in romantic capacity this soulmate is also going to be a wish fulfillment so it can happen either way either a twin flame relationship will happen first and then a soulmate relationship or a soulmate relationship will happen first and then a twin flame relationship but you are going to marry either of them that's what i'm getting either a twin flame or a soulmate one person is entering in your life to fulfill certain obligations contractual obligations and then they will go away and then the next person will be your romantic partner will be your future spouse but love is there love is there in both the relationships there is a lot of love in both the relationships loads of love some of you might think that if you enter into a twin flame connection say for example first you meet your twin flame and you are already extremely in love with it with this person the relationship is going really nice and you are with this twin flame say for example for last 5 years okay i mean uh, when, and maybe after 5 years you're going to meet your soulmate but after meeting the soulmate also you will feel very strong attraction towards this person uh, some of you will move on with your soulmate okay if a relationship with twin flame is not meant to happen is not meant to continue lifelong then something uh, some toxicity or something you might experience in this twin flame relationship and you will move on with your soulmate for some of you even if even if there is no toxicity and you are very happy in the relationship but despite that as well you will feel a uh, strong romantic attraction to you, towards your soulmate but then you will control yourself you will be like i am already in a nice relationship my twin loves me i don't think so i'm going to even though there is attraction there is something that i am feeling with you i don't think so i want to live i want to leave my partner i want i i want to leave my twin flame no i'm not going to do that people who will move on you will move on because you might experience some toxicity later but either way both the relationships are looking nice i mean it's you will be happy and you will be happy staying with this person even if you leave you will be happy leaving that person and the next person you're going to go with you'll be happy with that person as well three of pentacles like i told you already you will be working with your twin okay i do see a long term situation over here as far as other general messages are concerned we have a uh, nine of swords eight of cups four of wands and page of pentacles you know what there is something that is causing you a lot of stress sagittarius and whatever that thing is you have nurtured it for a very long time okay um you have you should have exited from that situation you have distanced yourself from that person or you should have taken the required action long time back but nevertheless i do see with eight of cups you are taking that action which will eventually reduce a lot of stress in your life there is an ongoing stress in your life no doubt about it okay and you nurtured it i mean the reason for the stress whatever the reason was it can be a person it can be a situation you nurtured that stress for a long time it's it, you should have taken action that's what the cards are suggesting but like i said you are moving away from whatever that reason of cause of stress was or is you're moving away from that and it is making you happy it is bringing stability in your life four of wands that is also creating a positive impact on your love life you are attracting uh, someone very special in your life again this is a message of twin four of wands you are attracting your twin so the next person for majority of you the next person that is entering in your life is your twin 
I also see marriage happening between you and your twin. Marriage is very likely. Very, very likely. Marriage is going to happen between you and your twin. Hmm. You will be happy when it comes to your career. I do feel like required support in your career and your finances are coming your way. Maybe you were struggling around your finances or maybe you were struggling around your career for a very long time. But the uh, the struggles are reducing. Uh, they are going away. Solutions are coming up. Assistance is coming. Help is coming. Unexpected help is also coming. Things are getting streamlined. Another thing I feel over here is as far as your health is concerned, you have to take care of your health, sleep well. Do not stress yourself out too much. Do not go for sleepless nights. Try to sleep early. Okay. Nothing major over here. Just that less number of hours of sleep uh, has the potential to create adverse impact on anyone. Okay. So I hope this resonates and hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below. Link for the extended is in description box and comment section. In the extended, we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you. An action they will take towards you and likely conclusion between you and this person. Take care, have a great time and bye-bye.